What's up internet? My name's Sammy Fightmaster and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know it has been a very long time since I have posted a video. It's been, I think, a full month now and I am sorry about that. I wish I could say that I was just taking a break from life and I've been relaxing, but that is not at all what has been happening. I've been very, very busy with work and just other life things and I haven't really had any time to devote to the channel until now. Hopefully I can do that a little bit more regularly because we have finally entered the holiday season, which is my favorite time of the year. And there's so many things happening that I want to talk to you all about. Also, I have moved. So I'm in a new location and this is really the only corner of my apartment that I have decorated. So this is what you're going to be seeing for the next month. That being said, I am in an apartment. I do have neighbors. And so if you hear some random noises throughout this video, I apologize. I can't control what other people do. I'm trying to keep it as quiet as possible in my apartment, but I can't control what my neighbors do. So I'm sorry if you hear any random noises, which there's a good chance that you might. With that out of the way, like I said, we are finally in the holiday season. We have made it to the end of 2020, and I think we can all agree it's about time. This is my favorite time of the year. I love Christmas. It is my favorite holiday. I love the Christmas time. I've had this tree up since well before Thanksgiving. So I have been in the holiday mood for a long time now, but now it is socially acceptable. So here we are. It snowed in Kentucky today and I am very excited about that. This is the only time of year that I will accept snow in Kentucky. Any other time of year, I don't want it. But I thought the perfect way to kind of come back to this channel during the holiday time would be to talk about Hulu's new Christmas rom-com, Happiest Season. It dropped, I wanna say, the day before Thanksgiving and I watched it pretty much immediately. I've seen it about three times now, so I obviously really enjoyed it. Now, if you don't know, Happiest Season is a new Christmas rom-com with a little twist. It is queer. I am so excited about that part. This movie has all my favorite things wrapped into one. So I was very excited when I heard Hulu was doing this. So Happy Season is a Christmas movie about couple Abby and Harper. Now Abby is going home for Christmas with her girlfriend Harper to spend the holiday season with Harper's family. Now there's just one teeny little problem. Harper has not told her family that she is gay. So to cover that up, she has told her family that Abby is her straight roommate who is also an orphan. So she has nowhere else to spend Christmas but with them. So that's all kind of news to Abby. So she's not quite sure how this holiday season is going to go. Naturally, things quickly get complicated between Abby and Harper, with Abby just really wanting Harper to come out to her family so that they can take the next step in their relationship. But Harper, really doesn't want to cause any drama with her family because they are super critical and very appearance obsessed. Obviously with that plot, it can make for some very complicated and also really funny moments. And I've got to say, there were a lot of hilarious moments in this movie that I just loved. I really enjoyed this movie. Like I loved it. I was a little skeptical going into it. I was very excited, but I was skeptical because of who plays the main character. Now, Abby is the main character of this movie and she is played by Kristen Stewart. Now, I might be getting ready to say something controversial, but I am not a fan of Kristen Stewart. I do not really like most of the movies that she's in. I know that she's like a gay icon now, but like, I just don't like her. And that was really tough for me when I saw that she was kind of the main character in this movie because I love everybody else that is in it. And I just don't love her acting abilities. And in my mind, thinking about her acting abilities along the lines of everybody else in this movie, I didn't think it was going to work. But I am really happy that I was so wrong because I thought she did very well in this movie. And I honestly can't see Abby being played by anybody else. I really love the Christmas feel of this movie. I believe they're in Pennsylvania because they mentioned Pittsburgh a lot. 
and I think that they're in Pennsylvania. There's snow on the ground. They're in a small town that's very decorated for Christmas and I love that. I wish my town had that kind of feel around Christmas, but we're too big, so we do not. I also really liked with it being a movie about a relationship between two women, they touch on a lot of real life queer issues that people can face and how everybody's coming out story is different. Not everybody's is gonna be the same. And I really like that they kind of focus on that. And it's just heartwarming when you have gone through that and you see a movie dealing with that. It's nice. I don't know what other word to describe it. I love seeing that on the screen. Also, this movie was directed by Clea Duvall. Now, if you're straight, that name probably means nothing to you. But if you are like myself, you probably know her best from But I'm a Cheerleader. That was the first queer movie that I ever watched, like back in way early days of Netflix. That was the first thing that I watched on Netflix. So it was really awesome to find out that she was directing this movie. So she had her hand all over this and I appreciate that so much. I love that because in my opinion, you can tell when a show or, or a movie has a queer storyline in it, you can tell if there were queer people in the writer's room and directing. You can tell that stuff. So it is very apparent when those people are present and also very apparent when they're not. So it was really nice that you actually had somebody that was queer directing this movie. It made all the difference in the world to me. So I was very happy with that aspect of this movie. I've got to mention this movie has like an all-star cast. I was very happy with the casting done. I love everybody in it. Obviously, I've already mentioned, Abby is played by Kristen Stewart. Harper is played by Mackenzie Davis, who I know best from playing Yorkie on Black Mirror. Also, Dan Levy, who I love, plays Abby's best friend, John. We've got Aubrey Plaza making an appearance in here, and whew, Loved her in this. Also got Allison Brie and Mary Holland, Mary Steenbergen, Victor Garber. Just an amazing cast. Everybody did phenomenal in their roles. I don't think I've ever seen anything that Mary Holland has been in before. She plays Harper's sister, Jane. She reminds me of Sarah Paulson. Like, let me know if anybody else thinks that as well. She was hilarious. She was so nice to have in this movie. She was so funny. She was a big bright spot in some of like the intense situations. I love her. Honestly, my three favorite characters in this movie were none of the main characters. Obviously, John, who is played by Dan Levy, was awesome. Loved him so much. Jane, that I've already mentioned, played by Mary Holland amazing and then we've got Riley who is played by Aubrey Plaza and oh my goodness I am a Riley stan for sure I need a Riley in my life I love those three characters they were my favorite they need to have their own movie now I went back and forth on what to rate this movie a lot because honestly there is an alternate route that the movie could have taken that presents itself about halfway through the movie I very much wanted that route to happen over what did happen, but I'm not disappointed with what happened. Like I'm okay with the ending. I would have liked to see the other thing happen, but like I still like how the movie wrapped up. And I know that there's a lot of people on the internet that don't like how the movie ended, but I'm not one of those people. I don't feel strongly either way. So even though I kind of wish the movie would have taken a different route. I'm still rating this movie four stars because I still loved it. Even though it didn't go the route that I kind of wanted it to, I still loved it, still liked the ending. The only reason that it is getting four stars instead of five is because I did have some issues with Harper as a character. She did develop throughout the movie, but there were definite times that I was like, why did you all make her character like this? 
So because of that, I'm giving it four stars. But the movie, it was very funny, very Christmassy, did touch on some very big queer issues that just need the representation. And in this way where it's on a major streaming network, it got some huge publicity and it's got some huge names in it. I love that they tackled these issues in this movie. I highly suggest that you go watch it if you have not. Happy Season is streaming now on Hulu. Definitely go check it out. I'll put a link to the trailer down below in case you haven't seen that, but my guess is you probably have. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new around here, welcome. I really appreciate you watching and I would really appreciate it if you subscribe at the end of this video. And then after you subscribe, hit the bell off to the side to be notified when I post new videos which hopefully will be more regularly. Well, that is all that I've got for you today. So I guess I'll see you next time. Bye.